Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sankit and you're watching Code and Career. So in this video, I will be talking to you about my AWS Cloud Support Engineer interview process, about the whole timeline and the process. And uh, I'll just give a brief about each and every round, which I did. How did it start? What all happened? And did I get selected or not in the end? So the uh, process started when a recruiter sent me an email on LinkedIn. This was on May 3rd. So on May 3rd, I got this message, uh, basically an email from a recruiter saying uh, that uh, there is an opening and I'm, and I'm hiring for this role. And if you're interested, please check out the job description. And if it interests you, please go ahead and apply from the link which was given to me in the mail. So I checked out the doc, job description and uh, went ahead and applied as uh, the profile was good and I liked the job description. And after applying, I got the online assessment on May 6th. So on May 6th, uh, when I got the online assessment, I was also informed by the recruiter to complete it as soon as possible. So I did it on the same day itself. And uh, the next day she told me that you have cleared the online assessment. In online assessment, uh, they ask some questions based on your job simulation. And uh, there will be some MCQ questions based on some topics which you can select. I had selected Linux and networking and uh, it the online assessment was for around two hours then uh, on 7th may uh, she sent me interview preparation material which had topics from linux networking and storage and as my role was uh, called cloud support engineer data in transit and storage i had some uh, topics to prepare on storage as well it can depend uh, varying on the uh, subcategory of your cloud support engineer role so if your cloud support engineer role is aligned more toward database, then you will have database questions in your interviews. And if it is related to DevOps or development or cloud security or something else, then you'll have some extra topics to prepare on. And uh, some people don't have that. Some people have Windows and networking. Some people have Linux and networking. That's all. So it is like that. And it is uh, dependent on the subcategory of the cloud support engineer role, which you're applying for. So uh, on 7th, I got uh, <clears throat> the interview preparation material and I started preparing for it. And my first round got scheduled on May 14th. So I had around seven uh, days of time and I prepared well. And I didn't know what technical round it was going to be. So I prepared on both uh, Linux and networking. And the first round for me was on networking. And uh, I did well on the in, in the interview. And after the interview was completed, so the interviews for around one hour, they take it on this uh, Amazon Chai map and it was online. And uh, after completing my interview, uh, around uh, two, three hours later, the recruiter called me and she told me that you have cleared this round, but there is uh, a hiring freeze which has been put now and uh, your process would have to be uh, like paused for some time. And until the hiring freeze uh, lifts, uh, you won't be able to like give any more interviews. So I had to wait for like one and a half months. And in July, the recruiter called me again and she told me that the hiring freeze is lifted and the process will start again. So I started preparing again and my second round of interview got scheduled on uh, July 10th. So first round got over on May 14th and there was a huge gap of one and a half months. And then in July, on July 10th, my second round got scheduled. And uh, July 10th, uh, uh, I joined the call, but the uh, interviewer did not join and he was on leave that day, but I was not informed about this. And I sent a mail to recruiters called this uh, person as well, who had sent me uh, this uh, invite for the role. And uh, she was like, uh, there's been a miscommunication or something. And uh, they scheduled it again for uh, next day. And next day it went fine and uh, uh, I did well in the interview. They asked me, uh, the interviewer asked me Linux questions and storage questions, which I was able to answer most of it. And uh, questions uh, were mostly related to troubleshooting and like diving deep into how the Linux OS works and uh, uh, some of the core concepts of Linux OS and uh, storage. So, uh, after this round as well, after two, three hours, I got a call from the recruiter saying that you have cleared your technical round two as well, and you will be proceeding with the uh, managerial rounds. So they usually happen on the same day, but for me, 
they were scheduled on different days as the second manager was not available on that day otherwise usually uh, they they will keep it on the same day within half an hour gap okay so uh, on july 11th i completed my second technical round and uh, managerial round was scheduled on july 16th so first managerial round was with my hiring manager and uh, the interviews which uh, i had given uh, the first round and the second round uh, those guys were also working under this guy and i was also supposed to join the team where he was the manager and this interview was not that well as i was not uh, able to recall what stories i had prepared i completely forgot and uh, it didn't go that well but i still answered and uh, even though uh, like he told me when i was telling the story uh, uh, at that particular time itself he would tell me that this is not suiting what que- the question which i had asked and i had to like change my story uh, two times for two particular questions so that was the uh, uh, thing which i feel uh, went wrong there and in the second managerial round i had 2 uh, 3 days to prepare again so i did uh, well there so i was hoping that they would uh, adjust that and somehow i would get selected but uh, uh, i got the result after one week and uh, this whole week i was just uh, my mind was not uh, like focusing on anything else and I, I, all all i could think of was just aws 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 and uh, on July 25th I got my result as uh, I got a mail from a recruiter saying that uh, they are not going to be uh, proceeding with my profile and uh, they will be looking out for another candidate or like they have not decided yet but uh, yeah I was not selected for that role so I reached out to my uh, hiring manager on LinkedIn I had connected to him and he had accepted my request so I sent him a message asking uh, Uh, i had given this interview and if you remember me could you pr- please provide some feedback for me and as to why was uh, why i was not selected and what i could do to improve my uh, not skills and uh, get selected next time maybe so he told me that your articulation and uh, your uh, troubleshooting part of complex problems was not uh, up to the mark and you can improve on that and yeah so that was it this was the process and first round was networking round second round was linux round then i had two managerial rounds in each managerial round i had around four to five questions asked about leadership principles and uh, yeah first round uh, around four in four or five questions i would have so what first question itself i told him two stories then two questions went fine and then last question again i had to tell two stories So the story which was coming up to in my mind first I was just telling you that uh thinking that I would somehow fit it into that question but uh then he would cross question me and then it would all go wrong and then again I had to start with another story so that is what happened there and yeah so I needed a bit more uh, preparation there and uh, and yeah, maybe with experience I would be able to make more better stories and uh, Uh, have rich enough experience to have like uh, good enough star stories which uh, they can relate to and uh, which like they uh, really look for in the interviews so yeah that is uh, what my interview process was uh, and uh, if you are going to interview for this role soon uh, please check out my other videos which i have made i have made all the uh, interview questions which they asked me uh, i have made videos on that and i have made extra videos on which can help you on preparation i have made notes and i have this google drive link uh, <clears throat> so comment cloud support engineer in the video and i'll send you this google drive link where i have uh, prepared all my notes and uh, all the questions and uh, managerial round this uh, question bank is there basically so this question bank these questions the which they ask in the interview they take it from there itself so that is like the official question bank of the uh, recruiters and the interviewers So if you want all that uh, please comment cloud support engineer in the comments subscribe to my channel if you're new here my name is sankit and i'm working as a system engineer at oracle and i keep making these videos to help you guys uh, clear your interviews and you know guide you through your uh, technical it uh, journey so yeah that's that's all in this video thank you for watching and uh, like share subscribe share with your friends and uh, subscribe please <laughs> so i just crossed 1000 subscribers 
and i'm really happy and next goal is uh, 5k so let's do it soon